for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 20 Ultimate Team Coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, U4GM Coins. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's good, guys? Sun and Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be going over another great pass defense in Madden 20. It's going to come to us here out of the Big Nick Lover G defense, which is in every single defensive playbook. So it doesn't even matter what scheme you run, whether you run a 3 4 or a 4 3. This play is going to be in every single team's playbook. Now, a couple of subs you're going to want to do out of the form is you're going to want to get rid of this safety at corner. Just put your third string corner there and then re-position um, those safeties. And then if you have like superstar pass rushers, you want to put them on the edge where we got Hunter and Griffin. And the, as you guys have seen in the thumbnail, the player we're going to be running is going to be covered too. Now, um, make sure that you don't go to the slot cornerback package. I know for some of the setups you want to, but for this one, you want to leave it on the normal because we're going to do a couple of unique adjustments out of the set. Now, go ahead, just come out in that. Again, I said this is better as a pass defense, but it can also bag the, um, it can also bag the run as well if you do set up the correct adjustments. So, starting out. What you want to do is set up your D-line. Now, your D-line, you can really do a lot of things with them. But the way I've got the best sheds has been uh, spreading my D-line and then slanting inside. Um, actually, a lot of times people think slanting outside is going to give you those outside sheds. But slanting down is actually giving me the better shed animations. The next thing you're going to want to do is put X in a soft squat. You can leave them in the cloud flat if you want. And then you're going to put Y in the outside third L. So that's going to be the left stick to the left there. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do. You could even put them in an outside third to the right. Um, no one would ever want to do that. But you could also put them in a deep half to the left if you wanted to. Uh, I prefer the outside third. I feel like he's going to go back a little. You can also move him back so that he doesn't get burned by maybe a streak. But... Even if X is on a streak, he's going to get bumped by our cornerback no matter what. So that shouldn't really be a worry. Next thing, since we have two zones on that left, you're just going to put LB, your free safety there in the middle third. And then you are good to go. This is the most basic setup. I'm going to go over some other um, unique setups as we continue into the video. But this is just going to be the first setup. You're going to use her the mid read, leave that vert hook. You basically just have to use her everything on the left. That's going from left to the middle of the field. You have that right side backed by that other player. And this is a very good defense for the shed. So you should be able to get some quick pressure. Boom, everything's bagged. RB, X. Um, they actually did. Holy crap, we're not getting pressure there. But um, it really just is a dice roll of getting the best animations. The other way you can do it is if you pinch your D-line slant outside, I've seen better some good animations as well, but it really does depend. You could also throw those players on the inside if you wanted to, but once again, the setup, you're just going to put Y in that outside third to the left, put LB, your free safety in the middle third, you can move that player back a little bit, and you are good to go. Very easy defense to set up, only two backside adjustments, and it's not really a worry. Um, for a timing standpoint, again, let's go ahead and snap the football here. Boom, bagging everything. You guys see we get that pressure. Now, if you do have those two pass rush abilities like I do in Ultimate Team, then you should be able to get that quick pressure. Big Nickel over G is probably the best set to do that. And you guys see I just pinched my D-line, slanted outside. Um, you can just clear everything, and you can just leave the defense the same or just pinch. Um, I've seen good sheds that way as well. Once again, the setup. Put Y in the outside third to the left. Put LB in a middle third. If you don't want to give away what you're running, you can just go ahead and do something like just not move any of the players. Uh, you can also go ahead and shade over the top just so this player is going to back up a little bit faster. Now, this defense is just so difficult to beat passing the ball, especially when you try to attack the left side of the field just because you, I just, you get so confused. Somebody actually ran this on me a couple of, day, couple of days ago and it absolutely bagged me. I was trying to attack vertically. Just trying to split the cloud flat in the safety with that X receiver. Wasn't able to do it. Seems like it also bags corner routes. Um, something you could also do is put these players in soft squats. I actually love the soft squat zones. I feel like they're more aggressive. They seem to bite things more down the field. And that's just my personal preference. You could obviously stick with those cloud flats if you want. But again, go ahead and snap the ball. Boom, using everything you guys see. And we get those sheds. So maybe it is better just to leave those players in their you know their little pass rushes automatically you don't have to really do anything i'll show one last time the setup 
wide and outside third to the left. I'll be in the middle third. Boom, you're good to go. Snap the ball right there. You guys see we're getting that instant shed animations. All you're doing is pinching your D-line, leaving everything the same. I guess that is the best way. Um, but once again here, let's head into a different setup. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is keep the left side of the field the exact same. We're just going to make some other adjustments on the right side of the field. So we got that left side. Basic cover two, we're shading over the top, we're pinching our D-line, leaving those sheds the same. But what you're gonna do on the right here is you're gonna put B in an outside third and put A in a, um, actually, never mind, you can't put them in, you read. But yeah, you're gonna put B in an outside third, put A in a middle read, and go ahead, put A in a curl flat. This is just gonna confuse your opponent even more. I would like to put this player in a vert hook, but you can just go ahead and use him. Put, leave bar in his zone right here. Just put him in a hook curl. This is just going to be way more confusing than the other one. It's basically like a cover three cloud. It is a cover three cloud. You just got that linebacker. You can leave your safety up here and still user him. Go ahead, snap the ball here. Boom. User and everything. We get sheds, and we get that instant pressure. That's going to be very confusing for your opponent, especially if he's just trying to do the same thing over and over again. It's going to be very difficult for him to attack the field. Let's go to a different play here. Let's just go to a random play. Uh, verticals. So once again, that setup is going to be pinch your D-line. Put Y in an outside third L or left. Put LB in a middle third. Put B in an outside third. Put A in a curl flat. And put X in a hook curl. Now that's a lot of adjustments. This is, like I said, for more experienced players who know the adjustments. They know... Uh, how to set up a defense very quickly and even if you are experienced you might want to practice that but again i'm shading over the top make sure this player doesn't get burnt especially against trips i might want to move him back a couple of steps but boom you guys see this is going to be very confusing for your opponent he, you still do have that too high safety look so he still might be expecting cover two but boom snap the ball i'm working everything everything's bagged we get that instant pressure as you guys see with danielle hunter and really, it's just going to be very frustrating for him to go against. This is absolutely going to bag things. You can obviously make a couple of adjustments. You can man some players up. But once again, I'm just going to go over that setup again. Y, put your slot corner outside third left. LB in the middle third. B in an outside third. A in a curl flat. And this player, you can leave in a hook curl. Or even if I want to get more adjusty, I could maybe man him up on Y. And then I could still use her Harrison Smith over the middle right here. Go ahead, snap that ball. And you guys see nothing's open, although we are getting that quick pressure. Everything is bagged. And overall, just an absolute great defense. Like I said, probably the best way is obviously, as you've seen, just leave those D linemen the same. Um, another setup I kind of want to go over is actually to keep, or let's, I basically want to turn this left side into a cover three. So what I'm going to do is put X in outside third, um, this slot corner in a, uh, actually, I can't put him in a curl flat, but what I like to do is man this player up and then I'm still going to leave this player in a middle third and then I'm like just going to use that left side all to myself. I'm basically the curl flat, something like this as well. I know it's a little bit confusing. I will leave these um, written setups down below in the description, all three setups in the video. But basically, again, we have a cover two on that right. We sort of have a cover three, but we sort of have like man coverage scheme. Um, all you have to watch out here is maybe a corner route because that could burn you on that left side um, some other routes as well could kill you but for the most part you're just watching crossers from right to left maybe drags other concepts boom you guys see that zig route did get a little bit open but not a worry that's like i said a little bit more of an aggressive defense so once again the setup for that is man up y on y put x in an outside third put lb in that middle third and if you are getting burnt, you could put X in the D path as well. But again, this one is a little bit more, it's a little bit easier to set up rather than the other one. Again, I'm pinching my D line, not slanting anywhere. Go ahead, hike the ball. Boom. You guys see everything is bagged. Maybe that hitch, you could have thrown it. But again, you would, I like to just cycle between the three of these defenses. Like um, if you're a beginner, like I said, you could stick with this first setup. Very easy, two adjustments to set up very quick and get overall. Just even if they try to check down, you got your vert hook there. Not a lot that they can do. If you're more experienced, you could, you know what I'm saying, go with the other setup. 
Um, it does take a little bit of practice. You might want to go in practice mode, practice these adjustments. Like I said, I'll leave it linked in the description. I'll leave that setup fully in the description. Go check that out. And boom, I'm shading over the top again so I don't get burnt anywhere using Harrison Smith. I kind of like to leave him up there so that there's no giveaway that I'm using him. And people still might think that I'm running cover two. You guys see instant pressure, instant sack with those sheds. Get yourself two pass rush elites, pinch your D-line, and they will go absolutely crazy. Um, you could chop block, and if they do have a mobile quarterback, you might want to go the route of containing. Maybe you throw these two DNs at inside so that they're still pass rushing rather than containing. Because if you contain, they're basically doing nothing. Like, I could have a 70 overall, and he'd do the same thing as my unstoppable force, Danielle Hunter. So, that's just another little tip for you guys. But once again, over all the setups, wide and outside third, LB in the middle third. That's the first one. Second one, um... B in an outside third, A in a curl flat, and X in a hook curl, using this player. Pinch your D-line, obviously. And the third one um, was to just go ahead, put X in an outside third, man up Y, leave LB in that middle third. And then you could still have this cover three on the right, but I like to just keep that cover two and leave this player in his deep half zone. User Anthony Barr right here. There's only one person in the middle of the field. Actually, never mind. There's two people in the middle of the field, so that's the third setup. Like I said, it might be a little bit confusing. I'll leave all three linked in the description. Make sure you go in practice mode. Go try them out maybe before you hop into online or if you know the adjustments well. If you're more of an experienced player, you can just go ahead hop into an online game. But that's going to go ahead and do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for some more Fireman 20 content in the future. And peace. I'm out of here.